Welcome to the MANA presentation on negotiating agreements. MANA is the Association for Professional Manufacturers' Representatives and those who aspire to be professional. We believe the more professionally you operate your business, the more profitable you become. The professional manufacturers' representatives know how to negotiate agreements that work well for both parties. This presentation introduces you to the basics of negotiating agreements with principals. Let's get started. First, we want to answer the question, why negotiate? Why not just sign what the principal sends you and send it back? The written agreement defines how the two of you work together. What are you going to sell? Who are you going to sell to? How much commission you will earn? When you get paid and so forth. When you enter into negotiations with a prospective principal, the financial impact at the time is zero. Your manufacturer's representative business has not yet booked any orders, so there are no commissions due. The financial impact comes years later, when, for whatever reason, one party or the other wants to terminate the agreement. What you negotiate today has a huge financial impact then. You also want to negotiate an indemnification clause in the event of a product liability suit. Failure to do so can result in expensive legal bills. When you negotiate in good faith, you gain respect in the eyes of the principal. If the principal is unwilling or reluctant to negotiate an agreement and tells you to take it or leave it, that may be an indication they may not be interested in working with you as a partner in profits. You may want to reconsider whether you really want to represent a company that is prone to making unilateral decisions. If you decide you really want to represent a specific principal, a strategy that works in the negotiation process is to strongly market your business so you become the one they want most. The more they want you as their representative, the more they are willing to concede in the negotiations. So, how well are you set up to market yourself to prospective principals? What materials have you prepared to show them that you operate as a highly professional business? For example, do you have a professionally created website? Do you have a version of your business plan you can share with them? Their goal is to sign up the most professional manufacturer's representative willing to work with them. Do what you can to convince them you are the manufacturer's representative, and that makes the negotiation process not quite so daunting. How well do you understand the key representative principal agreement key clauses? The more you do, the more effectively you will be able to defend and negotiate your position. At the end of the presentation, we provide information on how to access MANA's Manual for the Creation of a Representative Principal Agreement that provides background and rationale for each of the key clauses that you find in the agreements. If you cannot get them to agree to a fair and balanced agreement and you want the line bad enough, ask your attorney if no written agreement is better than a badly written one. Some state laws may do a better job of protecting you than a badly written agreement. In a negotiation, while you can compromise toward the principal's position, you will never be able to go the other direction. The principle here is to always ask for more than you want or need. So in the event you do have to compromise, you can still end up with an agreement that works for both of you. And that point is worth repeating. The final agreement must work for both parties. It cannot work for just one. Let's touch on the key agreement clauses. The first one is the initial term of the agreement and the termination. You want an agreement that has no termination ability other than for cause, such as bankruptcy, fraud, or agreement breach. This initial term allows for time for you to show the principal what you can do for them. It takes time for you to get to know their products and services, so an initial term prevents an overly anxious principal from prematurely pulling the plug. Another key clause is called rights upon termination. What happens to commissions after the date of the agreement terminates? Professional manufacturers' representatives negotiate an extended period to account for orders in the works but not yet placed. Professional OEM representatives negotiate LOP-LOP clauses, life of part and life of project clauses. These state that once the manufacturer's representative successfully specs in a principal's component, the manufacturer's representative continues to receive commissions as long as the customer continues to place orders for that component, regardless of whether the agreement has been terminated or not. Professional manufacturer's representatives negotiate liability indemnification clauses to protect them in the event of a product liability issue. 
Even though the manufacturer is solely responsible for the design and manufacture of the product, and thus its liability, it does not prevent the attorney representing the damaged party from naming the manufacturer's representative in the lawsuit, and you don't get out of those inexpensively. Finally, if the principal wants to develop a territory where there is no existing business, you need extra compensation, one way or another. A missionary territory takes far more time, and time is money, to develop. You need to negotiate the terms of that extra compensation. We recommend you log in to the member area of the MANA website and access additional MANA resources, such as the Manual for the Creation of a Rep Principal Agreement. You find that either in Step 4 of the Steps to Representative Professionalism program or in the Resources by Type section. You access the list of Rep Savvy Attorneys in the Legal and Consulting section. Look for the Developing New Market Resources in Step 3 of the Steps of Representative Professionalism program or in the Resources by Type section. We hope you found this presentation helpful. And remember, the goal is to create long-term and mutually profitable relationships with your principals. Please call the MANA office at 949-859-4040 if you have any questions on the presentation.